new episode of Singles Inferno. Never had anyone that I recommend this part to say that eh, it's okay. Like you know, it's not a lot. It should be okay, right? Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, it's New Year's Eve today. Dallas is actually looking a little more end of the year-ish compared to Christmas. It's a little gloomy today though. It's a little rainy, but I'm about to go out to get some claw clips. I have so much hair and it's just kind of getting out of control and I've always wanted to just kind of, I don't know, like throw it up like this. I have this like samurai bun all the time, but I thought claw clips would be a great way to just kind of keep everything up and also just be a little stylish about it wherever I am. I did notice that Anthropology has some really cute ones, so I thought I would kind of stop by in store and take you guys with me to shop for the claw clips. I have some, but I like lost them all. I feel like I always have stuff and then I turn around and they're just missing. I have a giveaway that just went live yesterday and I've just been loving and enjoying reading everyone's comments for those that entered. You still have a couple of days left so if you have not entered the giveaway yet, I suggest that you do. I also have this planner. I got this from Appointed and I just love this texture. I don't know how to describe it but I just really love the material. It's not too small, but it's not too big either. Uh, I loved all the lines and the pages in here. So I'm gonna try this one for 2022, but I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the afternoon after I get back from anthropology just to, you know, fill out my 2022 plans and some set some goals and all that fun stuff. I've gotten some positive comments on the new editing style and the content to include more fashion. So I think that's something that everyone has been enjoying, which I'll definitely do more of. Here's my outfit that I'm wearing for anthropology. I'm wearing this black beret. I got this like years ago, but I think I got it from, I might've gotten it from Forever 21 or H&M, either one. Uh, I will clarify in the links below. And then I'm wearing this bright red sweatshirt or sweater that Tommy got for me for Christmas actually. And then wearing some comfy pair of jeans and Let's head out. Oh, I also wanna talk about these Crocs. My mom actually got these for me for Christmas. She got it for myself and Tommy, so we're like matching. I think his is somewhere else, but I realized that these little charms that you put in the holes, they're called gibbets. So Tommy and I just ordered a bunch yesterday. It's supposed to take some time for shipping, uh, I think it's because of the new year and the shipping delays that are terrible right now anyways But once the gibbets come, I think that's how you say it. I didn't even know about the term gibbets I literally learned it the other day through Instagram. So once they come I'm gonna decorate everything and share what my new crocs look like. I ordered these like metal bling bling gibbets <laughs> So we'll see how they look. I'm gonna turn off the lights Oh, my car keys. Isn't this pretty? I like this one. Finally found some claw clips. This is exactly what I was looking for. Something like this.
I believe hair accessories are also 40% off. Okay, nice. Um, can I get your phone number? Yay, successful. Hello, so just got home and I wanted to share what I got from Anthropology. So I got the claw clips that I wanted. I didn't want kind of like the basic, uh, you know, like the most common design. I'll throw it up right here. It's like what claw clips are typically like, but since they've been trending lately, I feel like there's so many unique designs and that's why I chose this one or this set comes in fours and it has like a matte color detail, which I like, but I think these are like so cute. It's like nice to look at it from the back and from the side, just a little unique, right? I love like unique pieces. And here's another set of four. I have two of the bigger ones and two of the smaller ones. And these are also matte as well. Also, let me take this off. I tried on a bunch of beanies earlier and I got this one. Uh, it's kind of like a pick up, pick a palm beanie, but I got this black one. I thought it was cute. So from the side, it looks like this. I need some kind of like volume on my head like all the time. So I thought this was a cute beanie for the colder months. And uh, for more details, it has like this button detail at the top. And this is where you can choose like different palms. This is kind of what it looks like from the side. I don't know if you guys can see it from the back. But yeah, love it. I'm gonna use this red one for now. Here's the pork belly or samgyeopsal. And this is kind of like my last treat of the year, so. I actually don't really eat pork, but you know what? Today, it's a treat. It's not a lot, it should be okay, right? Okay. <laughs> so here's what I'm eating. I have lettuce, pork belly, this leftover soup, and then the sauce to eat the pork belly with. Ta-da, it's New Year's, and the only thing I'm excited about is a new episode of Singles Inferno. I heard this one's super scandalous this time, so really excited about it. So I just took a shower and I thought since I have to do my skincare routine anyways, I would share the most underrated Korean skincare products in my opinion. So I thought that would be fun to share while I use those products. So let me just dry my hair a little bit and we'll get started. Oh. All right, I'm back looking a little better with my hair situation. I really like to have all hair out of my face when I do skincare products or just wash my face in general because it always creates acne for me so I just like it clean. For my first step, I'm using a toner. This is a toner from this brand called Dalba and this is the peptide no sebum balancing toner. I think this is definitely an underrated product in my opinion. There's a whole line dedicated to this, like the no sebum line. There's a cleanser, which I also really enjoy. A toner like the one that I'm using right now and there's a repair moisturizer, which is also great. But Dalba is most known for its uh, first, I forgot what the name is called, but it's like the first serum, I believe. And that one is probably the most known as well as the sunscreen. But I really like this toner because it's just so gentle and so hydrating. Like I could use this toner and just kind of wait for a little bit until my serum step and my skin doesn't dry out at all. But I usually use it, you know, just to pat with my fingers or use a cotton pad like this. So this is the cleanser and the moisturizer that I just talked about from the same line, but all three of them 
They're amazing. That's literally like a skincare routine right there. Like toner, moisturizer, or cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. So if you're interested, go check that out. I will link it down below. And for the serum, this is the Innisfree Green Tea Hydrating Serum. You can see that I'm almost done with this one, but I cannot tell you how many bottles I've gone through since the first generation of this product. This one is now the fourth generation, the latest one, and it honestly just keeps getting better and better. I think this was the first product that I used from Innisfree, and it's literally <laughs> been getting better, and I continue to use it, and it's amazing. It's like so hydrating for every skin type, and I've never, had anyone that I recommend this product to say that eh, it's okay like everyone's been saying that wow like this is amazing it's so hydrating and so moisturizing it smells good it's light so it doesn't feel heavy on the skin you can use it like underneath your makeup just fine you can layer it up for more hydration I just love this serum and I feel like green tea is a skincare ingredient specifically for this brand Innisfree it's kind of like their main ingredient, but I feel like the serum is still underrated. It definitely can be used on more people's faces. Like I am an advocate, truly and truly. Speaking of, I'm gonna layer up two layers today. Pat, pat, pat. And for the moisturizer, I'm using this Laneige Sika sleeping mask. And this one is from the brand Laneige, a fan of this product as well. I really like to use this during the winter time when my skin does get a little dry and a little more sensitive. It does a really good job like calming down redness and irritation, but also it's nice enough to use as like a moisturizer. You know, if you have super dry skin, you can use a moisturizer and use this sleeping mask over it. But for me with combo skin, I think this is sufficient enough to use alone without a separate layer of moisturizer. It kind of acts as a two-in-one for me. So I really enjoy using this. Laneige is known for their hydration line, which is like the blue sleeping mask. That's kind of like the OG sleeping mask. They kind of started the sleeping mask trend, if you guys didn't know. Like they really started it. They're the OG. The blue one is great, but the whole point of this is me talking about underrated Korean skincare products. And I think this one is definitely an underrated skincare product. So wanna recommend this one and give a little love to this one as well. So when my skin is not really sensitive, I've been enjoying this moisturizer from Peach and Lily. It's their matcha pudding antioxidant cream. And this one literally looks like matcha pudding. Like look how delicious that looks. But it's also great for my skin. It's moisturizing and hydrating without the thickness. And it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy or oily. It just really hydrates and does its job and I've been loving it. So I kind of have been rotating between these two uh, this month specifically and last month actually. My skin's been more on the sensitive side. So I've kind of been really gentle with my skincare routine and very minimal. I really like sharing underrated skincare products because I feel like really, really popular skincare products get enough love from all different platforms and different people anyways. But as a Korean, I really want to share Korean skincare products that need more love because I've personally tried it, loved it for a very long time. So I thought I would share a couple that I've been really enjoying that I hope you can try one day. I'm gonna dry my hair and sleep. <laughs> 